Aloha, gang. Welcome back to another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. This is a fish and dive show made for people like you. So if you love to fish and dive, please consider subscribing. Okay, on this episode, we are going uh, trolling for Papil. And I'll do a little whipping on the side. Uh, we are going with the man, the legend, Ron Johnson as our captain. Uh, it's actually the old 15 on fire fishing crew. So it's pretty cool. This is the one that we do all the appeal tournaments with and everything else. So it's really going back to our roots. So it feels real nice. Um, oh, and also please stick all the way to the end because I'm going to show you our catch and cook. I'm going to do a appeal fish tacos. Super easy, super delicious. Um, share that with you. Um, oh, before we move on to the video, uh, just to clarify, in my last video, I had a pre-COVID blah, 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 put it on the screen. But what I meant by that was, it's not pre-COVID because pre-COVID was way a while ago, but uh, that was in regards to the new amendment that they just made that you can no longer have more than two people on the boat. So uh, all these videos that I'm posting are all legal, but it's it's all legit, it's all good. Um, but just to clarify, it is uh, pre the before you could have only two people on a boat. So, all right guys, let's get into the action. Okay, let's go. Holo holo. Yeah, okay. cap. here you go. Yeah, on a paw. Yeah, baby, yeah. here we go. Look at that, driving a boat and fishing. And out fishing us, basically. <laughs> Catch first on the board. Okay, we gotta, we gotta remember how we net them at this time. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm gonna go for two. Because <laughs> I'm not netting them. Because last time I uh, I lost cap, I lost caps. Um, <laughs> Ulua <Okay>. Kagami. <laughs> Go get them, new. <laughs> so right here, Cap gave pretty good advice of like uh, he loosens up the drag right when it's right beneath the boat because you don't have any um, stretch in the line once it's that close. So when you loosen the drag, it makes that final run, it usually hey, nice. doesn't break off. You have a chance to white. really land the fish. Oh, nice white. There you go. White. Good job, boys. And where there's one? Yeah. You got a nice white? Yeah, nice one, guys. Pandemic puppy <laughs> <laughs> Here we go, Cap showing us how it's done, like always. Uh, always catching more than us, but so humble about it. <laughs> awesome. Good job, Cap. All right, my turn to try to get into the action. So what I'm doing is actually whipping off the front of the boat. Um, see how we're going right next to the reef? So it's like a shallow reef and it drops off right into the channel. So this is perfect omilu grounds, big papilla grounds, alua grounds. So while they're dragging their lines right down the side of the reef, uh, we're using Yozuri's, both uh, Cap and New, but instead of dragging one down the center, I was just going to whip. Oh, there you go, New. There you go. There you go. New's on. New got a big one. All right, what you got, my man? Uh, no, I think you can get him. We don't wait, but I see him right there. He's right there, Cap. See him. Nice white. Nice white. Yeah, new. No. There we go. Yeah, nice white. Yeah, usually when there's one white, there's usually a lot of white. So it's good to just keep circling around. And this is a decent size right. one. And remember, new's huge. He's 6'4", 300 something pounds. So that's actually a pretty decent sized fish. So that was gonna, that was, it's gonna make a nice dinner. All right, here we go. Your boy finally in the action with my whipping. Finally paid off. But ah, yeah. oh, baby. Yeah, at least it's a catch release I can give. Oh, look at cool release. 
Okay, okay, here we go. I'm gonna let you go. Remember to let them go, to let them grow. All right, see you in a little while, buddy. Nice. Okay, we decided to switch it up. Just a quick Different change our setups, one. quick drop. And this is our drag for old eel. And here you go, new. Get one. Pop some hard. Oh, hanapa, hanapa. Here you go. Oh, good size one. Nice. So actually, with new eels, bouncing his lead, bouncing his lead, he's actually scaring the old eel. So I told him, hey, just leave your lead on the bottom. He's scaring the fish, and sure enough, as soon as he stopped moving his lead, the old eel came straight in and grabbed his bait. Look at this guy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, this might be a little bit bigger when I wonder. Yeah, I see him, I see him. Oh, that's, that's better. That's a better size. There you go, that's the size we want. There we go. Yeah, I'll uh, swing him around this way. Alright, put him closer. He's too big, that's why. All right, gang, here we go. We are at the catch and cook side, which I know you guys want to see. So this is going to be our quick and easy uh, papil fish tacos. All right, enjoy. Okay, so you just clean your fish like normal, but this is my little hack or my little uh, tip for you. So especially if you, you're going to make sashimi or you don't want to have any waste, what I do is a scale of course, and I just cut around just the skin. I don't bust um, bust it up or anything. Just cut it around, and then I just peel the skin back. It's a little bit stuck right there. I'm just gonna pop it off right there. And then when you peel it off, kind of like mahi mahi, you're just gonna peel it all the way off. That way you don't need to worry about filleting it super perfect. You're not wasting any of the meat. And like you see, this is so fresh, so that's why I want to still be stuck. But watch this, and then you just fillet it off. Right through the backbone, okay, above, above, above the rib cage, and boom, you have this really nice fillet. And look at that, no waste. And because we're gonna fry it anyway, for cosmetic side, you don't even need to worry. But I'm gonna still take out the bloodline, and then any other side pin bones, and then any other rib bones that you may have missed. Then what I'm gonna do is cut it into one inch strips, roughly about four inches long. That way it fits perfectly into a soft taco or a hard taco, whichever one you, you prefer. Do the same thing with the other side. Here we go. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Nice, perfect, even. And you want your cuts even, just so it cooks even. Okay? So I arrange it out like this. And then you're going to sprinkle some salt and pepper on it. I like to use garlic salt because I think it provides a lot more flavor. And um, the flakes are bigger, so it has better coverage. So you're going to do the same thing to the other side of the fish. And of course the pepper I use, you can use regular um, coarse ground pepper. But this is actually pepper, um, black pepper that I grew in the yard, uh, dehydrated and ground myself. So when I flip it over, do the same thing to the other side. And then the reason why I salt and pepper before I add the flour, or cornstarch in this case, is because uh, two things. Um, there's a, all that flavor is gonna soak into the meat. But what the salt is gonna do also, is gonna pull moisture out of the fish, which will almost be the liquid that binds the flour or cornstarch to the fish. So you put the salt on first and it, leave it on there for a little while, but it'll start to pull moisture. And then by the time you're ready to fry, it, all the flour or cornstarch will be stuck to the fish really good. Make a real crispy outside exterior with a soft, moist inside. Okay, so you're gonna have a medium to large saucepan, about one inch of oil. Um, you're gonna have a medium high heat. Uh, bring it up to temp, and then you're gonna put it in and just let it sizzle away. Just um, make sure you grab yourself a beverage for the chef. All right, and you just cook it till golden brown. Once you see it golden brown and starts to turn white on the top side, you're gonna give it one flip, do the same thing to the other side, and just finish it off. And it'll be in this nice golden brown. You can almost smell it through your TV, right? So good. And I also made fresh guacamole from the yard also. Uh, some little slaw for that crunch. And uh, of course, you're gonna get the acid from the homemates also that we made right there on the left. So, and then make sure you heat up your tortillas and bam. 
Mmm, popio tacos, man. One of my favorite fish tacos. Here you guys go. Lick your screen. Yeah, yo. Hey, how's it, gang? Thank you guys again for watching another episode of On Fire Fishing Hawaii. I truly, truly do appreciate all you guys and all you do for um, me and my family and support. Um, please keep all the positive comments keep coming and uh, make sure you guys like and subscribe. And every time you guys do that and share this video, what happens is it really helps the channel to grow. So thank you, thank you guys again so much. Um, all right, I hope you guys didn't like uh, you guys liked it and if you guys want more catch and cooks or all this stuff please let me know okay guys remember to fish safe and fish with aloha catch you guys on the next one you guys can also follow me on instagram on hashtag on fire fishing uh, joe waterhar so all right thank you guys again